Well, hello there. Today, I'm coming at you with what should hopefully be a very quick video, and it is essentially a favorites video, but obviously I'm difficult, so I've decided to call it something different. The first thing I liked in February is something that you see before you now, and that is our house, because I'm very glad to have somewhere to live in England, because I don't think I can handle much more stress in my life right now. Another one of my favorites I'm actually sitting on right now, and it is this throw blanket um, from Primark, and it's really soft. It feels like I'm an animal, but it's not actually made out of one, so it's like the best of both worlds, am I right? I have three food favorites to show you this month, the first of which is mini carrots. I'm obsessed with mini carrots. I love them so much. These ones are from Tesco, and you can get three packets of them for two pounds, which I have been doing quite regularly. Big fan of the cinnamon raisin bagels. I toast them and then because I grew up in Boston, I put about a centimeter of cream cheese on top and it is fantastic. Cinnamon rolls, specifically these ones. I also got these from Tesco. So as you can see, Tesco representative, it would be a really fruitful partnership for both of us where we to collaborate on letting me get a lot of food for free. Huge fan of Cinnabon. These are like, an acceptable substitute to make at your house. They also make other pastries, this company, that are pretty good as well. So check them out if you're into your baked goods. In terms of music, I've been listening to pretty much nothing other than the original cast recording of Legally Blah the musical on repeat. And my favorite songs from that are So Much Better, um, What You Want, Ireland, and Take It Like a Man. Since I've moved to England, Everything in my life has just become quite dry and dull. So I've been using a lot of highlighters and my favorite one at the moment is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and it looks like this. In terms of eyeshadow, I've been moving away slightly from my normal naked palettes and the last few weeks I've been using this palette by Torina Tarantino. It looks like this, no idea what it's called but I got it at Sephora and on the inside it looks like this. I don't think I've ever used the green or the orange but apart from that, Really nice. I would compare them in quality to MAC. I think they're one step below Urban Decay because they do have a bit of fallout, but like they're very good quality or I wouldn't use them. And I've also been using a lot of this one eyeshadow by MAC. I think it's called Woodwinked. I'm obsessed with it. It's like bronze and it makes my eye color look amazing. I do say so myself. <laughs> and the last thing that I was enjoying makeup wise, specifically in February, was this mascara by Soap and Glory. And it's called the Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. It looks like that. I only ever use mascaras like this over the top of this mascara, which is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And this is my all time favorite mascara. I don't know how many times I've said the word mascara, but I've been using this for about eight years and I'm never without this. I always have a backup and I always rebuy it. So I put this one on first and then I kind of finish things off with this one. Yeah. In a similar vein to the makeup favorites, I do have a perfume favorite this month, which is really exciting for me because normally I tend to stick to the same sort of scents. But for the last few weeks, I've been really liking Oh Lola by Marc Jacobs. And I've had this for a really long time, but I never really used it in Melbourne. I don't know why, but I feel like since I got here, it's been so cold and gray that I just want something like this to make me feel slightly more alive. During my move, my skin went to absolute shit. Apparently, experiencing the human emotion of stress for the first time in my life made my skin terrible. So, these are a couple of the things that I would attribute me actually being able to fix my skin to. It's not great at the moment, but that's a hormonal thing, whole different ballpark. Let's talk about some skincare. First up, I've started using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water to take off my makeup. I put it on a cotton pad, it's really great. There's not really much else to say about that. And I've also been using a lot of face masks. My favorite face mask of the month was definitely the Argent's Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. And it looks like this, it's black. It's really satisfying to put on because you really feel like it's doing something to your skin. And my favorite part of it is that it makes you look like the darker scheming moon emoji. And the scheming moons are like my favorite emoji combo for like really obvious reasons. <laughs> the most important breakthrough that I made in February in terms of my skin and just my life in general is hydration. And I have always been into hydration in terms of drinking water, but I don't know, I just was never really very good at making sure that my skin was hydrated. And so over the last few weeks, I've been using a lot of hydrating overnight masks and I've noticed such a massive difference. And my favorite hydrating mask that I have found maybe ever, I don't have with me because I've used them all and you can't get them in England, which is very annoying, 
Um, but they're the Sephora Overnight Masks. I think they're called the Sleeping Masks and it's just a little pot of gel and you put it all over your face before you go to sleep. It sinks in and then you wake up and you look incredible and it's fantastic. They've got a green tea one. They've got a pearl one, which I really like. I also really like the pomegranate one. At the moment, I've got a sheet mask from Sephora and it's a lotus one and this one's for moisturizing and soothing. So they've all got different purposes. In terms of items, I've been enjoying this camera and this candle. This camera is a Canon G7X and I use it for vlogging and this candle is Bayless and Harding Black Pepper and Ginseng and it smells like a really attractive man. Yeah, I'm all about that. I don't think I have any like TV or movie recommendations for this month because we didn't even have internet until like last week so I've really not been watching that much. However, I have been really into white wine flossing and other people's dogs. So let's discuss that last one. Basically, I don't have my dog in this country and I really love dogs and I really miss dogs. And sometimes I just need to be around them, specifically golden retrievers I kind of need for my own personal sanity. And there's a park semi close to our house, right? Not super close, but close enough that I can walk there. And like, sometimes I will go there just to hang out with other people's dogs. And I feel like that's something that I shouldn't be saying on the internet, but like they're dogs and not children. So I feel like it's a little bit better. And the last thing I'm gonna show you are books and neither of them are fiction. Um, the first one is a classical primer, Ancient Knowledge for Modern Minds. And it's literally just like a book that tells you very basic background information on ancient Roman Greece. Like I already knew a lot of it from school and uni, but it's still a cool book. And I think you might find it interesting if you're into the classics. And the second one that I'm gonna recommend to you very highly if you think you're receptive to this sort of thing um, is called The Rules of Life and it's by Richard Templar. It is literally just a bunch of rules for how to live your life in like a really successful and productive manner. And I love it. I need some new TV shows and movies to watch. Leave them down below. If you're into anything that I'm into, let me know. If you hate anything that I like, let me know, unless it's the mini carrots, because that would upset me on a deep and personal level. That's all for now. I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be kind of back to my normal style. I don't really know what my normal style is at this point, but like, you know, we'll find out. We'll find out. That's it. I'm gonna go to London now. Bye. <laughs>